I'm Marley Moyer. I'm botanical, scientific and natural history artist and I love detail. We've chosen 15 species in this artwork which speak to the ecosystem here in the Bunyan Mountains. Some are endangered and some are well known. In seeing the bigger picture of the ecosystem, you know, that is what the sculpture is representing. It's made up of smaller parts and remembering that it's the details that differentiate species from each other. So it's the details that I'm interested in as a scientific illustrator. This is a painting that I painted of a part of a bunya nut. This is the bunya nut down here in a drawing. This is an ovuliferous scale, which is female. This is a sketch of the cone. So you can see these points here. That's that point there. So that green part there is really just a sliver of that particular scale because it's the green, the outer green part of the cone. The cones are huge. I mean, they're like that. They're like a football. They're very heavy, you know, they can weigh up to five kilograms and they're very dense. Um, and these scales are all packed in really tightly into that ball. So you can imagine how heavy that is when it falls out of the tree. You don't want to be standing underneath bunya pines when they're, you know, when they're dropping their cones. Inside this scale, because the whole cone is female, inside the scale is the kernel. So you can see it's almost like a, a rounded shape. That's the part that you eat where you can roast them, you can boil them, and I think you can even eat them raw. I was fascinated at these, that vibrant, vivid green. It's just a sliver you see on the outside of the cone. And then this is the internal side. It was rich golden reds, but it shimmered with different colors like shot silk. It was very tricky to paint and I loved every minute of it. These are the leaves of the bunya bunya pine and you can see the seasonal growth in there. So with the smaller leaves here, that indicates that it was growing through the winter season. And these bigger, more lush leaves come out. That's the, the strong growing season through the spring and summer. Come in a little bit closer because I'll show you the cladogram of the Bunya Bunya Pine. Here is a cladogram that talks about the Aracarias. And you can see there's a little picture of each of the different species in that genus. It shows the different shapes of the scales and how that is part of the identifying feature of the different species of the Aracaria. Over here is the classification for Aracaria. And it's, it's a great big long list, but it is in the Aracariaceae family. Aceae after plant names refers to the family. So when you see Aceae, you think, oh, it's a plant family. Underneath that is the genus. The genus is Aracaria. And this particular species is called Bidwillii. The botanical name is Aracaria bidwillii, and that's named after the botanist John Bidwill. The common name of Aracaria bidwillii is the bunya pine, or I grew up knowing it as bunya bunya pine. And remember, it's not a pine. It is a conifer. It's a huge tree. You can see one up there with its classic dome shape, but it's not a pine. So that's a common name. A pine is from the Pinus genus, and this is from the Aracaria genus, so they're quite different. You can see it is a huge forest tree. There's a detail here of the global distribution of this genus, Aracaria, and Bidwillii is here, of course, in Australia. It doesn't grow anywhere else. It is endemic to Australia, and here we have a relative as well, Agathus robusta. So there's Aracarias that grow all around the globe. They evolved alongside the sauropods and we haven't forgotten that in this artwork. And one of the nicknames for the Bunya Bunya pine is a dinosaur egg. The Bunya Bunya pine is endemic to Australia, but it is a close relative of the monkey puzzle tree found in South America.